Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The MK Lady. Well today I have two Louis Vuittons I want to talk about. I want to talk about the beautiful Speedy 25 that came back into my collection. So, so pretty. And also the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And I want to do a little bit of a comparison now. They're both similar, but they're both different. And if you're deciding which one to choose, well, I'll show you some options on both. So now I'll start with the Speedy 25. So basically this one is kind of like a barrel shape per satchel. This one isn't the bandolier. So it doesn't have the long adjustable straps and you can only wear it two ways. You could wear it like this on the crook of your arm or you can hand hold it. So those are the only two ways. Now I do have it stuffed because I'm still getting out the creases in the canvas from the newness. Although it's not new, it's 2020. So I have it stuffed with dust bag as well as a uh, coach um, dust bag and yeah, another coach dust bag because I really want to shape it to how I want it. So of course there's the lock and key. So this one, you can lock it and use the key. Let me just grab the lock and the key. It has its own little dust bag, which is super cute. So inside this tiny, tiny little box is the lock and the key should be with it. I hope I didn't even check. Yes. So you do have this cute little lock and key and I don't use it um, just because I want to keep it fresh and not uh, scratched up or banged up or anything. But here you go. You can, let me just take this out, lock it if you like. Now the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse doesn't have a lock and this one does have a lock and key so when you're out and it, and then it has these like tiny tiny little keys which i'm super scared to lose but while you're out and about and i don't know if you travel internationally or wherever you travel you do have the option of using the lock and key mechanism if you'd like but I really don't see myself using that because um, for me it would be a hassle as you could see right there to get in and out. Now I have seen some people put them, well not with the key I guess, oops, see I'm already losing the key as we speak but there. Some people wear them like this and then some people leave them on their purse but like I said, that's not going to be me. Now, I guess you can use it and keep it hanging and dangling there if you want, but I'm not going to use any of those. I know I'm not. So, has one smooth zipper. I do have a bag organizer in it. Um, as you could see, I got from Amazon. So, it is one big open compartment. Now let me take out the the Amazon bag shaper. I'm going to keep it in, but some people might want to see. Now this is a real classic. See, there's the bag organizer. It just squished in there. Get those from Amazon. So some people like the big open compartment with, um, there is one zip pocket on this side and then there's one key fob holder right there. And some people like it slouchy and bent, not me. I want to keep, keep it shape. I want to keep it so that it's beautiful, but this is the option for the speedy 25 not the bandolier and you can fit so much stuff in there like you can fit everything and the 
kitchen sink. Whoops. Oh, there goes my keys. <laughs> so, card case holder, keys, more keys, make a bag. Like, you can stuff it to the brim. Um, you can put your mitts in there. You could put a full-size wallet in there if you like. Um, what else can you fit? Oh yes, you can fit a phone if you don't have the organizer in there. And like you can even probably even fit like a little book. I'm just looking around if there's a little book. But let's just say this little kind of phone case, it, not phone case, but these are, um, what do you call these? These are quality... <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. These are temporary glass for your iPhone. And say that's another little book. And then what else could you fit that fit in there? Like even maybe a Swiffer. No, the Swiffer would come out. But like I've even heard you can fit a water bottle in there. It does get quite heavy when you have all those items in it. So the reason why I'm showing you how much can fit in there, like there's still so much room to put other items in there like sunglasses and everything but with the pochette matisse because it's so much skinnier you're quite limited with the pochette matisse and we'll get to the pochette matisse in a quick moment so like i said you can fit all those things in there now with the pochette matisse we'll get right into it it does have a long adjustable strap and three open compartments now that can be deceiving now the pro you're gonna get with the pochette Matisse is that you do have the long adjustable strap that you can hook right there and so you could wear this um, basically three ways if you'd like so you could wear it with a long adjustable strap as a shoulder. Then you can wear it as a crossbody right in there. And then you could even hand hold it. But you can't stick your crook of the arm like, say, the Speedy 25. You can do that, but not with this one. You can only wear it those three ways. Now, it is quite a bit smaller as comparison to the Speedy 25. So let's just grab all the items. Um, so we'll grab those. Now, it, it can be quite roomy. Um, Full-size wallet uh, and a phone. Actually, the phone I'll put in the back so it'll give it more room uh kind of a full-size makeup bag now it's getting quite squished here so i'm gonna have to rearrange things and so we can fit so it's already getting super squished in there um gloves and then also i have keys like look at how <laughs> squished this is getting already like you can pile things i don't think it would fit and I'm not even going to try. It's not going to fit all that stuff. So if you want a kitchen sink, I guess you could say, would be the Louis Vuitton Speedy. But if you're downsizing and you don't take a lot... Wait a minute. I dropped my paper there. Um, I wouldn't carry... You can carry a full-size wallet, but I wouldn't carry a full-size wallet. I'd take out my pretend book. And I see hair is falling off of me. I just finished getting ready. And yeah, so I've downsized quite a bit. I've taken out quite a few things. Gloves, wallet, and everything. And now it can fit. So all this other stuff that could fit in the Speedy, gloves and everything, cannot fit in the pochette matisse because it's so skinny the my phone is on the back right here so if you're deciding what you want if you're wanting a classic speedy 25 like these have been around forever and ever and they're still going to be around forever or if you want the classic kind of 
skinnier silhouette for the Pachette Matisse, then I would go with this one. Plus you have the strap. Now, one thing I thought of for this strap, I have some ideas for this strap. I have a lot of ideas for this strap. Now, I don't know if people recommend this, especially if you're carrying a lot of stuff, but sometimes I've seen ladies using a different strap on these kind of square rings but the, it's not recommended if you don't carry a lot of stuff it might work in a pinch but that's why they have the bandolier but for me that was that was just way too much fachetta vaquetta whatever you call um for me to look at it and use it <laughs> as a speedy bandolier and that's why i wanted to go back to the speedy 25 or you can take the skinnier version and have the law are kind of the s lock right there with the back pocket with organization this is kind of like a hot mess purse unless you do order the bag organizer to make it more organized like me or you can just organize it in the Pachette Matisse. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video, you will get notified. Have a great day. Bye.